Welcome to, This Bitch, with Sarah Weinshank and Kim Congdon. Oh shit, we're live from the hive at Mastermind Media <laughs> with another episode of This Bitch Podcast. I'm Kim Congdon. And I'm Sarah Weinchang. And we're back, baby. We're, we're back. back and we're ready. We're ready. here. We're ready to fuck this Monday up. We're going to take this Monday and we're going to make it our hoe. We're going to make it our little bitch. Yeah, we're going to take this Monday <laughs> and we're going to put a little collar on it and drag it around our bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, what, else, what else are you going to do to Monday, Sarah? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill all of Monday's holes. Oh. Uh, too far. Well, <laughs> I one thing about Shanks, she's going to fill Monday's holes. Oh, too far. Um, it's, no, I think that's just far enough. I'm going to make, fr- I'm gonna make Monday squirt. What? I'm going to turn this Monday, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it into a Friday. <gasps> the ultimate the ultimate disrespect. Of a Monday. <laughs> That's the hardest disrespect you could ever have to a Monday. <laughs> Bitch, now you're a Friday, okay? Welcome. I celebrate life on Mondays while the rest of you guys work. I got to tell you, Monday's <laughs> one of my favorite days of the week. I love a Monday. I love a reset. All the mistakes I've made over the weekend, everything can get washed away. It's a new week. It's a new time to work. I like to make a list. You know me in a list that I never get done. She makes a list, but then she never revisits the list. (laughs) She'll be like, okay, Sarah, what we really need to do is we need to make a list. I have ADD. Ugh. Xavier, see if there's an ADD why, test. Why does that trigger you, Sarah? Quick, see if there's a quick ADD, a five-minute ADD because test. Because she's in and out. The fact that I needed to be five minutes is the first sign that I have ADD. I'm like, I'm it sure needs to be- that we both probably have it. There's like, it's a spectrum. <sighs> Not everything being a spectrum. I'm everything gay. I'm uh, autistic. I'm ADD, and it's all on a spectrum, <laughs> one to ten. A spectrum. I'm a three on the gay scale. I'm a two on the autism scale. I'm a seven on the ADD scale. That's where I put myself. I'm an eight on the horny scale. Whoa, bitch! You didn't see that coming. Mic drop. <laughs> horny shank, saucy shank is what I like to call her. Not saucy shank. Yeah, when you get saucy, I see you with them tassels, dude. Shank saucy, and tassels. Saucy. Is that my new nickname? Saucy Shanky. I don't know if I like it. Saucy Sarah. I don't want to be Saucy Sarah. That's saucy. Not, I don't saucy like Sarah. it. It's when she gets naughty. Kinky Kim and Saucy. Oh, kinky Kim and Saucy Sarah. We sound like two old aunts that haven't been fucked in 10 years. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, is this is this a long test? Do you tend... To, okay, tell me, Sarah, which one of these apply to me? Do you tend to avoid or delay getting started on a new important task? I think sometimes. I, me? So I think it goes from never to very often. I would so go v- often. So Sarah says you're right in the middle, and then you say you're one above at often. What do I you th- think? I think sometimes. Sometimes? Okay. Yeah. Do you find the majority of your tasks are boring, repetitive, or make it difficult to complete? Very often. But none I of find things- them very often, too. Yeah. Do you find yourself careless, making careless mistakes when engaged in something you feel is boring? Yeah, very often, sweetie. I posted a poster today that said, I'm coming to Chi- Chicago. No, <laughs> April, no, you did it. April 9th. Me, no. Catch me in Chicago. Um, how often do you feel restless or fidgety? I mean. I don't think that's you. No, I'm not restless. You're not like fidgety. No, I would go rarely on that one. And I'm not fidgety. I would, I would say more tired than restless. Do you regularly fail to remember important appointments or obligations? I would, You've been a lot better since you got your calendar. Yeah. But so I would go often still. I would, I'd go sometimes. I'd go often. Okay. Often? okay. Yeah. I had to okay. check what time this podcast was today and I had to make it a lie when I called Sarah and blame someone else. I'd be like, yeah, they didn't, they don't know. It's, it's 11, th- yeah, 12. Yeah, you right? were gaslighting me. <laughs> you dumb bitch. When you're, you're when hey, it's not gaslighting, it's surviving it's gaslighting. ADD. It's, not, it's gaslighting. She I'm gaslights a, me and then makes herself a victim. I'm a survivor. You know what? <laughs> I'm just trying to make it through every day. Don't yeah. tell me you're a survivor. Life is hard. Get a helmet. Do you have a difficulty? I was going to say that. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nineties dad. 
Um, do you have difficulty unwinding or feel often on the go? <laughs> oh, very often, sweetie. Yeah. On okay. the go? Uh, yeah. Uh, when when the, the phrase I think of when I think of Kim is got a jet. I feel like that's got a jet. Got a jet. She's got always a jet. Got a blast. <laughs> got a yeah, jet. I do like to say that. Li- have you never heard me say that? Have you heard me say that? I feel like I hear you say yeah, that. Yeah, got a jet. And before I leave. <laughs> What? Yeah. You have a secret tagline I didn't even, I wasn't even aware of? <laughs> I, I I hid my tagline for you for many, many years. Now it's time to Got a know. jet? <laughs> if you said got a jet to me, I'd be like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> got what a do jet. you mean you got a jet? That's, yeah. That's a, <laughs> please don't mean that you don't say that. I do. <laughs> I say got a jet. <laughs> I'm shook it. Sometimes but... I say got a blast. Don't say that. Got a blast. No, you can't say got a blast. Why? Well, it sounds like you're about to come. Might might be. I'm so busy. Got, got a blast. Imagine, imagine I'm so busy. I have to come while doing errands. Got a blast real quick, then go to the laundry. Got a blast, then pick up something for mile seven. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah. So unwinding on the go, I'll go very often, Zaves. On the go, but don't you think that our life, the whole, <laughs> the our whole entire life is on the go? Yeah. Do you have difficulty concentrating on people when they are speaking to you? I would say sometimes. Yeah. I would go more often. <laughs> so which one? Sorry, Most sorry. conversations I'm in, it's very hard for me to listen. I would go often. Okay. Okay. There's only a she few means- people I can really listen to. Do you frequently misplace things? Sometimes I would go. I misplace things constantly. Yeah. I've gotten a lot better ever since I got that magnetic cloud key holder and I put Apple air tags on everything. So I still do misplace things, but I find them so quickly that it doesn't interfere with my day anymore. I've figured out a way around that one. Are you typically distracted when there is activity or noise around you? No. Uh, I've never really seen you be like, Oh, there's a there's a noise outside. I go I rarely. Can't do anything. Really? I th- I would say I probably get uh, anxiety from it, but I don't find it. I can focus. Got a jet. Do you find yourself <laughs> avoiding situations like <laughs> what the fuck? I need a very often for this next one because the way that I feel about a line, <laughs> I'd rather just not go. This is a reason I had to get a root canal. Okay, very often. Put her email so she gets the ADD person news. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Fuck that. <laughs> submit, submit. Let's see. Do I have the did? You do. You have it. There you go. Oh, wow. This is your results. Strong indication of ADD, ADHD. Wow. Your answer suggests a strong indication that you have ADD, ADHD. However, this quiz is no substitute for proper diagnosis from a healthcare <laughs> professional. And we would encourage you to schedule an appointment with your doctor or mental health professional now. And then it's just a- oh, and then it's a better help ad. <laughs> Great, mom's oh. mom's got the ad head, ad headed, huh? ADHD ad headed. I don't like that. I have it. Okay, only four percent of adults eighteen to forty four have it. I am special. Yeah, light up the joint, special <laughs> one, please. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> the young girls are doing this now. They laugh silently into their hand. They go. I, why? When something's funny and they want to scream, but they're not in an appropriate place to scream. <laughs> yeah, That's let, so stupid. Let me, see your, let me see your young girl scream. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the young girl scream. Yeah, they do that. Like, they'll be like, oh, my God. No. Yeah. Where'd you learn that? TikTok? Um, and, um... Yeah, TikTok. Your sister? Yeah, TikTok. She knows. She knows Tick- all the trends of the youth. TikTok showed me. My mom's blowing up my phone because she works at a dentist's office and I send her my dental x-rays and she's like so excited to be involved knowing the facts. Okay. She's like, she wants to call me and be like, your posterior is posted or something. You know what I mean? She <laughs> yeah. wants to give her like dental info to me and she's dying for it. She can't wait. She can't wait. To tell you what's wrong with your mouth. <sighs> She's dying to tell me what's wrong with She's my mouth. She's wet to tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let's light up the joint. I'm 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 a little nervous. I had a root canal done. And then um and she hasn't stopped talking about it and now she needs another. And I might need another and now I'm traumatized from the first one. They didn't think I'd need another one, so they put a filling on the tooth, but it in fact I do need one. Are you going to get a second opinion? 
Um, or does my doctor's mouth hurt? really good, and my mouth hurts really bad. Oh shit! It's sensitive to cold and hot. And the, and they said it's like deep, and I might need her, and it's affecting on my other teeth, and that's why everything's sensitive because one tooth's fucking everyone up. One bad apple ruins the whole bunch. So, <laughs> do you? Faye didn't think I was going to say that. No, I'm full of fun today. Very fun. Very fun. <laughs> just... One thing about me is I'm going to come in extra fun. Oh, she's extra fun. So I just sat on my foot, not fall asleep. Oh, that is the worst. Are you trying to wake it up right now? Yeah. Does it hurt so bad? It hurts so why, bad. Why does it hurt but kind of tickle? What is that? What's that hurt tickle it has? I don't know. The There's hickle. no other pain that's like that. The hickle, I would I'm call it. I'm just like, ugh, can the blood get to my toes? Like, it's a whole fucking thing. It's too Being much. a human being. What the fuck is happening every day? It's exhausting. You know, your heart just beats every day. All the time. It never stops until the day you die. Shout out to it's my heart. Shout out to my heart as you sip a Red Bull. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> <laughs> to our hearts. <laughs> We're getting our heart on. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, it's the body is very trippy. It's very weird. Are there any weird things that your body does that you feel like nobody else does? No, I don't have weird body things. I'm not like oh, a fucking circus oh, sorry. freak. Is sorry, that's what Sarah, you're asking? Sarah's perfectly normal when it comes to her body. Like, do you ever have like a random head pain that's like a stabbing pain in your head? No. Do you have that ever? Yeah, right? You never get that? I get headaches. No, no, no. It's like randomly it'll feel like just someone stabbed you in the head real quick. <laughs> <laughs> do you I don't know? have that. Really? What do you mean? It's you like my head too. Yeah, it's like my head gets like zapped. Like I don't know how to describe it. Do you get that? Yeah, yeah. I always thought I was being like dehydrated or something. Me too. Sometimes I start like drinking water when I do it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sometimes it just feels like my head got stabbed real quick. <laughs> Casually. A casual head stabbing? Yeah, I get that. Sometimes I also get... My foot's still asleep, by the way. See, you're not perfect, bitch. I'm not saying I'm perfect. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't have yeah, a Yeah, your foot falls asleep like the rest of ours. <laughs> <laughs> um, <gasps> well, sharp pain, ice pick headache. Whoa. Uncommon headache disorder. No, we're uncommon. I got it yeah, all. Yeah, thank you. Okay, finally. Sudden sharp stabbing head pain. Not me being the voice of reason telling I you guys you're off. Primarily <laughs> stabbing headaches have no underlying cause. They're difficult to treat because pain lasts just a few seconds. You could take steps to prevent. Yeah, that happens to me. You know what I also get? I also get the feeling in my stomach sometimes that there is what seems to be in, in like a rubber band around my organs and it gets really tight for a second. Does that ever happen to you? I'm sorry. No. Yeah, do that. What? Yes. That what causes stomach or abdominal tightness? Overeating. <laughs> oh, no. Cut it out. Cut it out. I, she's got IBS, baby. <laughs> Cut it out. When it starts saying, what is banding pain around abdomen? Click on that one under the people ask. Oh, yeah, that's a functional despespia. You see that? The okay, feeling of a I, tight band she's around your stomach. Been diagnosing herself? I have multiple with, sclerosis. <laughs> no, you don't. I have MS. No, you don't. If you had MS, you would, you'd be doing amazing right now for someone with MS. I don't think you have MS. Okay, You good. can't be diagnosing yourself with ADD and MS I have from that. online quizzes. I can crack Enough. my I can crack my ear. That's disgusting. You want to hear? No. Okay, I on. don't want to hear. Ready? She doesn't even care. She she asked for my consent, and I, you do not have my consent to crack your ear. I'm going to crack <laughs> you. No. <laughs> right now. She's cracking me. I'm going to crack <laughs> you. <laughs> hey, shut up and take it. <laughs> Listen, ready? Oh, wait. This one. <gasps> oh, wasn't in the mood to do it. This one will. Oh. Okay, no. okay, stop doing it. I can't right now. The but Lord I heard my prayers. <laughs> she works in mysterious ways. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. But if you can, All this build up if you can crack your ear too, hit me up. HMU. You you cr ear cracked <laughs> me. I crack I try it was an attempted crack. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even look at you the same. <laughs> Oh, no, I tried to crack <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> um, she, she tried to crack What me. else can I do? Oh, I, I, I can do enough. this. I can do this annoying laugh that you hate. <laughs> I don't like that. It sounds like, like a hamster. Like, 
I don't think that's good. When my sister used to get in trouble and I didn't want to laugh out loud, I'd look at her and go, "Ew!" <laughs> and it would, pi- it would piss her you're off. You're a ventriloquist, dude. If you started doing ventriloquy, that'd be a lot. Okay, we get it. You can do weird things with your body. I can. What is this? Is not the Guinness World Book of Records. I need Guinness, for you to Guinness World Book of Records. What's it called? Guinness Book of World Records. I wonder if there's one this we could. That. Do you think there's something we could do in the Guinness Book of World Record? What's the longest podcast ever recorded? We're not doing that. I, shut I, up. I think I looked this up. up. It was like shut somebody up. did like. This uh, is fun. I, I want to say it was either a full day or a full week, and I, I've, I've look it up, up before. because I'm we not, might have to beat this. I'm not podcasting with you for a week. You might have to, sweetie. If we have to beat the world start, record, you then the Guinness Book of so this the bitch. The are going to have to start sending me money, sweetie. If you want me to podcast for a week straight, no interruptions. Working together, a team of podcast fanatics, actors, plan and carried out what can be described as a podcast marathon, recording a total of 153 hours of content without any breaks. How long did that take? Yeah, and it, it's content because that's what it is. It's not good. We're, We're just talking. We could talk for 153 hours. I could talk to you for 200 hours, honey. Listen, unless I'm getting paid cold, hard cash. Well, we could raise money for the Guinness Book of this bitch. I don't want to have a pod a thon. How much would it cost that- for you to pod with me for a week? A week? Yeah. Uh, that's the only thing I Three do grand. for the whole week. Three grand for the week. No. Five. Yeah. So, 10 grand. We need. <laughs> Mommy's to- getting paid too. We need 10 to- grand will pod for a week. I don't want to pod for a week with you. It sounds awful. If it we'll was be- like this, it seemed like it would be hard. Have you guys ever seen like Polly Shore set up? How it's like the whole house, like everywhere you walk is like a camera. Like that would be kind of cool. Like if you guys. We could just- set that up and do a live video feed for a week. The no, live. Giving this bitch, Big Brother. I don't want to. living <laughs> pod. You don't want to beat a world record. No, I don't give a fuck about records. I just want to be trying to do ha- cool stuff. Happy. I'm just trying to do cool stuff. Sorry, guys. She doesn't want to. Sorry, you're a teenage boy. I just want to be, like, do cool stuff like in the, the Guinness right. World Records. All record. right. She doesn't want to. We can't talk about my strange body elements. She doesn't want to beat a record. This is it. I, I, I looked up the easiest world records to break. Uh, it seems like you guys could do some of these. Like, uh, you guys can put the most socks on one foot in 30 seconds. I know you could do that with your sponsorship. You've been putting socks. Oh, so- yeah. <laughs> according, <laughs> according to your fucking Instagram, you've been putting socks on those feet pretty fast. <laughs> pretty fast. That's all I do, sweetie. You know, when I set out to become a comedian, I didn't know that I'd also be a sock model. And God just keeps giving me gifts. Hey, when one door closes, one sock door opens. <laughs> sock drawer. <gasps> just one foot in front of another. No, one foot in front of another. Um, more All right, smart- so we can't beat the fucking record because Sarah doesn't want to. So I'm sorry, guys. You know that when you're mean to me on the podcast, people don't like it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> it's not Welcome to look. the whole reason we named this podcast this bitch is because we started fighting on it. What, do you want us to be nice Light to each this. other? Watch how good it'll be once I start going, oh, yeah. Light the joint. Let's do that. No, say it nicely. Please light the joint. Okay, no problem, Sarah. Is this what you guys want? So how was your t- how was your weekend? You guys want the other, you guys want podcasts like the other podcasts. I got you. I got you. <clears throat> oh, no, they just want us to be funny and not mean. Okay, okay, yeah. Sweetie. Go okay, we'll do it. Come on, let's do something funny. Silence. What what are we doing? This is not making for a good pod. Mm -mm. Should we start fighting again? Yeah. Anyways, you're (laughs) so annoying. It's better when we fight. You You see, see? sweeties, honeys? She gives me a little tough love (laughs) and we get laughs, baby. (laughs) They like when mommy hurt and mo- me, mama. <laughs> they like hurt me, mama. Hurt me. <laughs> hurt me for life. Hurt me good for the pod if you need to. <laughs> okay. How's, Dude. how's your guys' time in uh, Tacoma? Ugh. The people of Tacoma are they're really nice, but the smells, the aroma. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard. Everybody, if You've you're heard living. That? 
Have you heard that Tacoma stinks? Heard, I mean, this is exactly why I wanted to ask. I've heard that, like, I, I told somebody you guys were there, and they're like, Tacoma smell? And I was like, I was like, are you saying it? Like, it's like a bad place? Like, no, like, it has a smell. It smelled everywhere. everywhere. It's kind of like, and it's also like, it well, wasn't why? even just, it wasn't even Tacoma. Like, the outside smells, like, not great. Like, it doesn't smell great, but everywhere inside is overly perfumed. Everyone chooses the wrong scents. It's like people's... Why does, yeah. The aroma of Tacoma. <gasps> Click on that right now. Click on that. It's Wikipedia. real. The aroma of Tacoma, also known as the Tacoma aroma, is a putrid, unpleasant odor associated with Tacoma, Washington. Tacoma is located on the western part of the state in Pierce County. The smell has been described as similar odor of rotten eggs. The odor is not noticeable throughout the city, but is rather concentrated in the Tacoma tide flats and is frequently smelled by motorists traveling that section. Wait, look at this. Bruce Springsteen had the same issue. You, and he reported the odor was so overwhelming that he, he was, was forced, forced to leave town <laughs> in not, the 80s. Not Bruce Springsteen not being able to take the smells of Tacoma. That makes me feel so much better. I, I thought like we were losing our goddamn minds. I thought that we I were was, being, I was like, are, are we being are, LA bitches? I thought we were being snobby. Smell? I thought we were being snobby like, ew, Tacoma stinks. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was being a bitch and I was like, kind of felt bad. The same and then... And then somebody in the audience, when we went on stage together, said, no, that's the aroma of Tacoma. And, and I thought a, they made it up, and it was a funny thing that happened in the moment, but it's a thing. The EPA said the smell was due to total reduced sulfur emitted by a downtown paper mill. That can't be good. They're not healthy, yeah. It's not healthy to live there. I'll tell you what, it's not just the aroma in the air. If you live in Tacoma, I highly suggest you go buy a bidet. There's she some- said, she said, sh- and she's right. We smelled everyone's ass. Dude, I've never, have you ever smelled someone's ass through their jeans? Like they have a stinky ass and you could smell that it smells like ass. Like, like butthole. It smells like dried up poop and like sweat. Oh, Kim. That's what it was. You just took me right back to Tacoma when you said <laughs> it. I wasn't even ready. <laughs> not the, the, not the so- words dried butthole just bringing you back to <laughs> Instantly flashing you straight back to Tacomes. Yeah, it it was, I was in the aisle seat on the plane. And what, as me and Sarah were getting, did we talk about this on the pod already? No, we talked about this on stage. Oh, okay. I'm so glad we didn't talk about this yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as we were getting boarding the plane, me and Sarah were stuck behind this guy. And Sarah was talking to me when the smell hit me. So I, I for one second, I said, that can't be her mouth. In my head, because it was like, it smelled like shit. And I was like, my baby's mouth has never, even on the worst of days, okay, smelled let it like be that. Known. <laughs> let it be known, our mouths don't stink. Not I'm, the aroma of Tacoma we're making sticklers us for a, turn on each other. We're sticklers for a clean mouth, me and her. Clean mouth gang. Sticklers. Did I say sicklers? Yeah, you did. I just was going to let it go. <laughs> we're sticklers. Sticklers, my friend. Sticklers, We Lord. love Ryan Stickler. Yeah. Also, clean mouth baddie. Um <laughs> <laughs> A clean mouth baddie. Hey, I, lo- I love a clean mouth baddie. <laughs> if I see, dude, if I go to your house and I see you have a fucking tongue scraper in your bathroom, oh. I'm coming. I already know you're going to make me. <laughs> I don't know what is, you, but. You know what is, <laughs> sweetie. The tongue scraper. The tongue we scraper will make tongue me. tongue scraping king. A tongue scrape for the O, baby. No. A tongue scrape for the O. If no. you scrape that tongue, you lay that dick. Sound if off. you scrape the tongue, you lay the dick. Sound off in the comments if you scraping your tongue. If you're not scraping <laughs> your tongue, I need you to go order a tongue scraper. They're like $5 on Amazon. Go get a tongue scraper. Go get one. It will change your life. I also am a big believer. I don't know if we could look this up and maybe this is a thing. I have a theory and I think I've heard little things that support it that like the mouth, this is why I'm so stressed about the root canal is because if you don't get your teeth fixed, it affects your brain because the mouth is so close to the brain. And they do say that people that don't floss and don't scrape their tongues get dementia more often than people who don't. And I do think that plaque is like literally a secret killer. Yeah, I do think so. No. And I, yeah. I hate that you just said that. Pl- I just hate that it's a secret killer plaque. Yeah, leading that to sounds- dementia. I love flossing. I have a special floss I use, Glide. It's the best. Oh, is it the little green ones? Yeah. That's the ones I have. Oh, no, those are the sticks. Oh, yeah, I have the sticks. I use uh, 
Oh, you use the wrap around the fingers stitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Do yeah, you do a wrap around like the fingers? I like the plastic things because then I pick my teeth with the other side of the plastic when I'm done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know why it feels so good to poke at my gums. It feels so good. Do you know those little It's gums? the best pain. Sometimes it's too much. It's like coming. It's yeah. like a micro. It's gumming. <laughs> <laughs> It's a microgasm. It's you're a like, microgasm. You're like, oh, that feels so good. And, and you just way. poke at it Wait, on each tooth you know underneath those, in between. They're like uh, gum poking sticks. Oh, have you yeah, had those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that have little rubber on them? Yeah. That's not shit. hard enough for me. I need the real hard oh, plastic. Oh, she's sick. I like to hurt it. No, she's yeah. sick. I like to make them nice and irritated. <laughs> I, my gums are literally itching talking about this. They're it like, feels so me. good. Why? Why yeah, does poking gums your gums horny. feel good? My gums are horny for it. Gums are. My gums want it. <laughs> my, oh, my gums need a picking. <laughs> Oh boy, do my gums need a picking. It feels so good. Scrape your teeth, do your gums. Oh, wow. Oh, it breaks up any tissue or bacteria. Oh no, if it feels good to floss when you are picking your gums, it means you need to floss more regularly. No. Not us outing ourselves as dirty mouths. <laughs> I floss. I floss too. I floss at least... Once a day, mostly twice. twice. Mostly twice, at least once a day. But right now, I could tell you, I need a good flossing. Yeah, I could use a floss. The I'm, gums are horny, baby. I'm itching I don't know. for a floss. <laughs> oh, boy, am I horny for a floss. <laughs> Give me the string. Put the teeth. Put, put the, the string, string between my teeth. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, daddy, and put that string between my teeth. And then I want you to scrape my tongue. Scrape my ew! <laughs> it's, it's so sexual. Just just regular hygiene is so sexual. I want you to take that metal tongue scraper and I want you to glide it down my tongue. Okay, why are you making it so horny? I don't like it. You sound like a sex phone operator. <laughs> Spit it in the sink. <laughs> Spit it out. Spit it out, ew. <laughs> We're disgusting. Ew. But it is. I mean, I do think that that's a thing. How did we even start talking about flossing and teeth? I don't even remember, but I was trying to. You're make... getting a root canal, but then we were also talking about the aroma of Tacoma. The aroma of the Tacoma. Smells. The smells. Um, um, And the asses and the bidets that need to be bought. And it was just, it's just shocking. It is just shocking. Could I go back to that one place for the wings? Everything smelled weird. Even Everything when we got to the hotel, smelled- it was like overly like perfume, overly perfumed to where we got a headache. And it's like, oh, of course, this is the only they're trying to cover that aroma, but they were overdoing it. But they were doing it with like more toxic chemicals. Yeah. You're like, I don't think you should be using this much Febreze at once. It was a lot. It's nothing. I have a headache thinking about Tacoma. I I literally do too. I almost just when we were talking about it, the scent of the hotel came back and I was like. No, the scent of the hotel never left me. No, yeah. It's baked inside of us. It's inside my skin. It's whatever that hotel is, is part of my DNA now. And the hotel room smelled like B.O. Yeah. It was like, and that was the best smell in the whole city. I was like, thank God. I'm home. You know, <laughs> you know it's bad when you smell BO and you say, thank God. And you go, I'm home. Yeah. I'm cozy. I'm cozy, sweetie. <gasps> Boy, will I sleep good in this. What about the bad mom? The mom abusing her kid. The, the bad mom. There was a she bad had, mom. She was like toothless. She was toothless and she was going through the TSA and she was doing it in such Is a way. Is that affecting us? The AC. It's very loud. I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I'm picking um, it up. I'll, I'll let's ask if we could just turn it off. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let's get this off real quick. Xavier just fell down the stairs. <laughs> he's he's dead now. <laughs> All right. Um. So, yeah. So, we saw a bad mom. We saw a bad mom. But the first t- indicator that she was a bad mom, first of all, the way she was going through TSA, Kimmy. And, you know, I'm not one to judge. The way I go through TSA is already a lot. Is it? TSA is so easy for me. I know. Well, like when we're traveling together, I, I, you know, act like. You've got it together. I act like that's me doing my best. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and I'll tell you, it's not good enough. I don't want to get yelled at. (laughs) I don't want to get yelled at. Come on. We don't have time. Put your shoes on. I want to get a coffee before we get to the gate. I don't feel like that. I don't feel like dealing with that. So I'm on a. 
I'm moving faster. So anyways, I see this lady. She's a mess, a wreck. And if I'm saying it, you know it's bad. Yeah. She looks like she's never left her house in her life. She's like, oh, get your shoes off. Get your shoes off quick to her daughter. It's this whole thing. Her daughter's not moving fast enough. She starts yelling at her. And I'm like, I clock it. I go, oh, this this white trash mom's an issue. And okay. then And then. Is everybody else looking at her? Yeah, and everyone's looking at her, and she's making it look so hard. No. You know the type. I know the type. I'm like, you need more teeth, and, like, you need to be nicer to your fucking kid. Yeah. So then we go through security, and then I see her yelling at her daughter again. She's like, put that away! Put that away! I told you to put that away! And it was, like, so bad to the point. Then you came up. Okay. And I was like... I think Kimmy's going to have to say something. Um, you, did, you did sell out the mom to me instantly. I and I did say I'll say something. Uh, yeah, I know. The first thing I said was, I'll let her say something else. Yeah, dude. It was bad. It was like, I was like, not Kimmy getting CPS called on this bitch. <laughs> I will call CPS. Uh, yeah. I've threatened it before and I'll threaten it again. Yeah, dude. She was. Don't be mean to kids in front of me. It's Sorry. horrible. And, I, also, and also, you can really tell the difference between a stressed mom and an actually mean mom. Yeah, Yeah, because like stress moms do yell at their kids and yank them around. And sometimes I see that and I'm like, she's tired. Yeah. But this mom was not nice. This mom was mean. This kid was so cute and she was just so quiet. Remember we saw the mom at the beach that was like leaving her one daughter out. She had like three kids and there was this one girl. They were looking at the rocks, remember? And she kept leaving the one daughter out and the daughter was like skinnier than all the kids and like was like shaking and like nervous on the rocks and you could hear her be like, mom, can you hold my hand and help me? I'm scared. And the mom would just like ignore her and hold the other one's hand. (laughs) Yeah. That shit pissed me off because you can see in real time how someone's fucking up their kid yeah and it's like upsetting yeah because you're like oh like if this is just a glimpse into what's going on when we're not around then when we're not around it's much much worse yeah and do you remember when she was like falling in the rocks and she was kind of crying and her mom was ignoring her and then someone walked by and when someone walked by she's like sweetie are you okay yeah and we were like oh like at the same time we all gasped like she's being fake (laughs) she's a fake ass mom yeah she's like like when people are around, she was concerned interest. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. It was crazy. That was, it was weird. That shit was trippy. Okay, to so watch. like the bad mom on the plane. Yeah. Then, then the unthinkable happens. Me and Sarah don't get seats next to each other. And guess who she's sitting next to? I knew. I wish that I would have said it. Cause when we were in the airport lobby waiting, I said in my head, Sarah's going to sit next to bad mom. Those were the exact <laughs> words. That my head said, I just fucking knew. I don't know how. When I saw that she was on our flight, my first thought wasn't even that I was sitting next to her, is that you were. Uh, it's because God's a comedian. God's we a were comedian. Like, we were cracking up. I, I get, I go walk to my seat. We're saying bye. I go, well, I guess this is me. <laughs> just bad mom and the kid and i'm like i cannot be next to bad mom for the whole flight no not the whole flight yeah you did i was like i gotta go i can't sit next to her bad mom bad mom be bad momming i was like out of all of the people i know i was like not that and god was like you're getting that no (laughs) yeah no i manifested that shit dude yeah from the moment i saw her going through tsa i manifested a new uh person to sit next to dude i gotta tell you i did the fattest thing the other day tell me everything it's fat okay it's a safe spot space i was fat. really craving froyo you know how i get with froyo okay okay mommy's a froyo queen i love a plain tart yeah, froyo we spent 40 dollars so. at yogurt land on the road and i'd do it again okay okay <laughs> um i went to go get fr- uh, froyo and i got it and i was driving home and i it was so good that i ate it before i even got home Like I was still like 10 minutes away from home and it was like on my last bite. And I got so depressed about the fact that I wasn't going to have Froyo to watch TV with. No. That I ordered another one delivery. So it'd be there by the time I got home. No. Yeah. And I was too embarrassed to go back a second time and get a second Froyo. So you threw one Froyo back in the car and then you had one sent to your house so you could have. Did you just wink at me? (laughs) (laughs) I love Froyo. I wasn't even ready for that. I know. You I know it's hard. A, I know it's a big bomb to drop, and I know you didn't expect that. I didn't you. expect that. From I you. didn't expect it from me when I actually Sometimes got it. You need it. 
It was sometimes you have delectable. I mean, every bite I was like, I I remember at one point I was so into it that while I was eating it, I was thinking the endorphins I'm getting from every bite is like I would pay massive amounts of money for if it was a drug. (laughs) <laughs> I remember what, thinking what that. What kind of froyo did you get? God's cum yo, apparently, because it was what, so good. Like, paint a picture. What kind of toppings? Okay. I get a little crazy. I believe that. Mommy. We all do. <laughs> Got <Not, a> jet. <laughs> <laughs> Not got a jet. <laughs> We all do. You just leave. <laughs> the podcast is over. We never see you again. It was like her last words were got a jet. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I get plain vanilla tart, which is already a psychotic move. Everyone tells me. <sighs> Psycho. There's so many flavors. Do, what do you do? Do you get the pl- tart? No, I don't, I don't really even eat Froyo. He doesn't indulge. Have you never had Froyo? I don't, I don't know that I have. What? <laughs> You've never had frozen I, yogurt? Yeah, I don't even, like, like, I know there's yogurt land. Yeah, and- that's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I am shooketh. It's better than ice cream to me. I am shaken. It's better than ice cream. I am twisted over this. I grew up on Froyo. Froyo is it dude really? so and then like you guys are like you so you said the top like are you putting the candy or are you doing the i can eat an entire froyo i can't eat an entire cup of ice cream because the dairy becomes too much no i love a but well, the froyo is dairy too but it hits different it's smoother yeah it's like it's like an icy dairy it's there's something about it okay so i go i go plain vanilla tart okay nothing else i fill it up less exciting to me but go on then I hit it with some blueberries always. And I put those in first because I like them to get really hard and frozen in the froyo. So I okay. put them in. I have a strategy. That's why I'm asking. To the way that I yo. I'm already like, okay. And then um, I um, I do a uh, Captain Crunch. Mm-hmm. I do a little bit of Oreo. Can go- I tell you, when you said Captain Crunch, there was a part of me that goes, oh, I would never. Yeah. Yeah, because I think it goes good with, like, the milky taste of the Froyo. Okay, It just okay. is a good pair. So then I do the blueberries, Captain Crunch. I sprinkle even amounts of Heath Bar and Oreo, which is not too much, just enough to get it a little bit on every bite. Okay. And um, I think that's... Oh, and then I'll either do a couple maraschino cherries at the top or... Oh. Or the boba's. The bobos are good. Yeah, so I'll do if it has either of those, and that's it. What about mochi? Those little mochi things? No. I love those. That's I don't do the mochi. I like the gumminess of them. I don't do the mochis. If I'm getting crazy, I'll put a gummy worm in there, let it harden up for later. <laughs> oh, shit. You're an absolute <laughs> savage. No. Yeah, I might if I'm feeling daring. Not a hardened gummy worm and mommy's yogurt. Yeah. Maraschino <laughs> cherries are a good treat, though, on it. Maraschino cherries. You don't like them. I like one on a Sunday with whipped cream. I get. Two, I put two exactly two in it. One for the start, one for the end. They're so sweet. How do you by Kim Kong then? I want you guys to get my exact Froyo order and let me know what you a think. A clean mouth baddie will teach you how to yo. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this clean mouth baddie. <laughs> She'll teach you how to yo. It's like a weird Russian YouTube video. <laughs> clean mouth baddie teaches how to yo. <laughs> it's like where? It's like when you finish the end of the internet. Oh my god, so crazy. Yeah, so that's my order. Where do you go? I don't know. Can we pull up a yogurt land menu? This bitch. Okay, can I tell you what COVID took from us all? What? Among uh, first our sanity and then second the sample cups at the frozen yogurt places. Okay, yeah. Let let's bring him back. Okay, the I'm, disease is over. I'm done with the things they took away, and they're just too lazy to bring, bring back. back. It's very clear that you're just Customer too lazy. Customer service. <laughs> I went to Goodwill the other day. I love a Goodwill. And I wanted to try and close. And the dressing rooms are still closed because of COVID. So I literally undressed in the hall. 
Yeah, anything can happen in Goodwill. Down to my skimpies, getting dressed, taking my full top off. Dude, you could fuck in a Goodwill and, and covering no one would my, I was literally covering <laughs> my tits and taking my top off in no. the middle of Goodwill, yes. No. Yes. Oh. Okay, okay. All right, let's start from the beginning. Okay, what's your flavor? I love pistachio. Okay, so you're going to do pistachio. I, mean, I don't know. That seems overwhelming. Now I understand why you went with the vanilla. Oh, but you know what? Go I'm going to hit it quick. with a few different things. Oh, never mind. I'm going to hit it with probably a, few, bomb. a few different things. I'm going pistachio, a little a little drop of pistachio. Okay. A little drop of strawberry. Okay. Let's keep going down. Um, And then actually I'm going plain tart. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Yes, you are my queen. The plain the plain tart might be the move. Yeah. Um, and then let's see the toppings. Yeah, oh my God. Too many flavors. And way no, too many choices. Bana- Madagascar vanilla bean. Get real. <laughs> get yeah. fucked. Get, get fucked. fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Please. You don't need nothing but tart. I'm telling you. Churro. Okay. So now. It's like, go have that dessert. Go have a churro. Oh, a yeah. butterscotch? <laughs> Fuck off. A chocolate covered banana, I gotta be honest. Love. Love. Carney's next to the comedy store sells chocolate covered bananas. And when I first started doing comedy, I innocently would just show up to the comedy store with a chocolate. <laughs> it's so funny because I just loved them and I didn't realize how slutty it looked. I was probably like so, so hot and new and eating a chocolate covered banana, signing so up like- for potluck. <laughs> it's weird i got up again yeah (laughs) that's so weird it doesn't even seem random at this point (laughs) (laughs) just like sucking on a chocolate covered banana yeah i i really want one now that we're talking about i could go my favorite desserts i could go for a chocolate club ban we might have to do a midday chocolate club (laughs) ban And listen, we got to eat it in our cars alone. Hey, listen, one thing about two girls with batty mouths, <laughs> they're going to get a chalk cup ban. <laughs> we need a chalk cup ban immediately. We need a chalk cup ban stat. <laughs> I'm going to start making my own. I might too. <laughs> Not as at home making chocolate covered bananas. What is and life? That's, com- that's mid thirties, baby. <laughs> Living it and tired after. That's mid thirties. Tired after making chocolate covered like, bananas. I might put some sprinkles on. Woo! Woo! She's feeling fun. You know, I never understood sprinkles until very recently. I always said no. Always. Oh, first of all. I love a sprinkle. Well, I don't like the soft ones. I like the crunchy sprinkles. I love a chocolate sprinkle. Mm, I've never had a chocolate sprinkle. What? No. I've never had chocolate sprinkles. Okay, you need chocolate sprinkles and you need frozen yogurt. (laughs) And I can't, I don't know who you people even are. What do you mean you've never had chocolate sprinkles? Yeah, I mean what I said. We're going to have an ice cream party. An ice cream social. we We need to do the fast food mukbang for you too. I need to introduce you to Cheesy Gordy to Crunch. I don't really feel the urge. I know, because you don't know. That's the beauty. Well, maybe, That's the beauty maybe of the it's video. better if I keep it that way. I don't need a Cheesy Gordy to Crunch <laughs> habit at 40. <laughs> they go, what happened to you? And you're like, hang out with the wrong people. <laughs> <laughs> Things take a turn for the worst. You're like... You're with your fucking thing that you sleep with now, your sleep apnea thing. No. Just a fucking Baja blast next to your bed. No. Yeah. Yeah. I have to show you a few things. I'd like that to I don't show think, you a few I want to show you the French toast sticks at Burger King, the breakfast oh, French so toast good. sticks. I bet she's never had those. I've never had those. See, there's a lot of things. A whole new world. A whole new <laughs> food. A whole new world. Yeah, so... There's a lot of things that you haven't, mama hasn't seen. Mama's, mommy's going to show mama. Mama's, mommy's. Okay. <laughs> mama's getting a little too excited. Mommy, mommy, She's mommy gonna... took a horny goat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mommy's going to show mama the world. <sighs> the world is just fucking Taco Bell bonus menu. Yeah. Like, bet you don't know about this. <laughs> um. What's been new with you? You're have you tiny? gone on any? Yeah. Have you gone on any dates? Oh, no. No? No. Oh, you have, but you don't want to talk about it. I don't it. want to get into it. Did you go on a date that I don't know about yet? No, you know about it. Oh, I do? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was an unexpected date. Oh, yeah. 
which are always the most exciting. Oh, yeah. When you go, oh, I guess I'm going on a date. A, a date out of nowhere. A surprise date. A s- date out of nowhere will do it for you. You find out a lot about someone first date. <sighs> too much sometimes. A little, a little too. You ever leave hey, a first I date? I found out a little too much. You know, I have a really good dating tip for all the ladies that are out there dating. And I heard this once and I've done it. Um very recently and it does set a different standard and I think this is a really good thing to know when you start seeing a new guy and you're interested in him even if you had a bad relationship with your ex lie just be like my ex treated me amazing we just didn't work out we were different people but he treated me amazing and I loved that because then when you tell them that someone mistreated you I feel like it sets a standard like oh that she'll accept that oh I like this It's like, uh, yeah, it's like, okay, she was with this guy for this many years and he was an asshole to her. What can I get away with? It kind of sets that standard. So I just like to say everything's all good and then start it from there. And I've done that and it really helps. You can see it in their eyes too. when when they're like, my ex was great. We just didn't work out. He's like. (laughs) Rot, rot. Because, but that's also kind of the truth with a lot of mine. Yeah, same. Like they're not bad people they're just not right for mommy a few of mine are bad people (laughs) (laughs) a few of mine are kind of bad people but it doesn't matter but a lot of my exes are great most of mine most of yours i would say 90 percent of my exes are really good and i've only had five boyfriends i would say how many boyfriends have you had (laughs) a lot you have yeah i've had a lot of boyfriends i've had one Two, From when to three, when? All four. of our lives? Yeah. Maybe not as many as I thought. Five. Official boyfriends that were my boyfriend? I think five. That's not that many. That's not. Um, hold on. I'm all I'm all caught up. Um uh, the the steam room slapper. If you didn't catch him, oh whoa! I didn't even think about him. Yeah, I was I wasn't even there yet. I, yeah. My mind's moving very slow. Where the Mister Mister Toadette? Okay, okay, that's five. Okay, <laughs> um, okay, six. six. Is that right? Maybe six official boyfriends. Wow. We but need some to of put them in feel more like work. Sentences. I know friends that are have boyfriends but every some year. Some of them lasted like three years. I know, same. Five years. I had a five year relationship. I had in a four there. year relationship in there. That's insane. That's a five year relationship. Oh. It's a long time to be with someone. <gasps> five years. There's people who have been married for thirty years. Ah. You have to really love the person. Yeah. That's, What's that like? That's. <laughs> That's the key. <gasps> that's the sauce. That's the sauce. I you have to be like, yay, it's you again. Yeah. If you're if you're in a relationship and you both are obsessed with seeing each other, God bless you. Mm-hmm. It is not hard to find. I mean, it's not easy to find. And if you're not and you're sad about it, us too. <laughs> don't think don't think we're happy about it. We all want to find our soulmates. You think mama and mommy want to be spending all this time with just each other? You think, <laughs> you think mama and mommy want to be lesbians with matching sweaters? <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> but also, sometimes I would rather be alone than be around bad company. Because let me tell you, sweetie, I have the time of my life when I'm by myself. Oh, yeah. Every time I'm alone. I'm I, like, this I've, fucking rules. Every time I'm having fun alone, a guy comes along and ruins my <laughs> it's true <laughs> every single time i'm like i've just started being single and now i'm going on dates with a guy and i'm like oh, i like him fuck yeah yeah yeah. it's annoying. that's how it is though i know anytime you're actually fully happy then it's like the dicks are a knocking the anytime- dicks, <laughs> and that was a dick <laughs> <laughs> You didn't even know that was a dick and knock. And you said, what I thought him? that was my neighbor. I had a random knock on my door today and it was some random dude saying he was maintenance and I just didn't answer because I think that's weird. Right? Like I can't just Did answer you- the door for a random dude that says maintenance when there's no maintenance call. Yeah, no, you, they should give you a heads up if there's yeah. going to be maintenance. Yeah. I'm not opening the door on a whim on for a whim. murder. No. He heard me walk up to the door and stare in the thing too. He was like, I was just staring. <laughs> no, that 
No. For every man knocking on a door, there's a terrified woman on the other yeah. side. Just yeah. so you know. No, absolutely. If my door, if I hear a door knock, my heart stops. Especially like in this time. No, there's no reason. Call me. I'm coming through. I'll be there in 10. Even just the sound of the knock really doesn't land well with me. No. You know what else starts with? A knock sounds sinister. Maintenance starts with them, but so does murder. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say murder or maintenance? I can't tell. <laughs> Let me put up my ear to the door. <laughs> yeah. Have, have you been on like high alert since the, you had a fire in your room. I was, I was looking at your Instagram. Oh yeah. I should send you those pictures. I, I, I oh, took, okay. I took photos of your story. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Let's put those up. Yeah. I had a fire. Uh, my outlet got on fire. I saw, and when it looked fucking insane, it, it was, looked like it could have taken everything. You're lucky you didn't get. It catch started on fire. burning my mattress. It could have it burnt in the middle of the night. It's probably bad. There's probably and chemicals. I'm thinking if a mattress catches on fire, it probably like engulfs quickly. That's what I'm saying, Mama. Like I could have probably we could have lost you. No one would have been able imagine, to bully the funny end. Imagine of me. Mama doing this pot as a burn victim. They wouldn't take me seriously. <laughs> I don't know if I could continue. <laughs> no, you uh, can't look at me. I don't. Hey, hey, let's, let's move it to audio only. <laughs> let's go to let's go to radio, sweetie. <laughs> not me having to go to radio. <gasps> no, I mean, yeah, I'm so glad you weren't in there, Mama. No one would be Come able on. to bully the funny out of me. If I was the way you can, <laughs> dude, a fire can happen at any moment. It really made me realize, like, it made me feel bad for every person that's been caught in a fire. It's crazy, like you think about these things, and then when it starts almost happening, you're like, oh fuck! Like it just becomes so real those moments if if you're going through it, and then you kind of feel guilty about never really putting yourself mentally there to think about it. And like, you're like, oh, I have so much gratitude. Yeah. I'm like, all I my stuff could have burned. Like I could have gotten hurt. There's probably so many people that get hurt in fires every year and they do live their life like terribly burned and in pain. <sighs> Go donate to the burn victims. <laughs> Can we put a link up? Yeah, yeah, I'll find a link. Not only are we educators, we're also philanthropists. Yes. Go donate to a burn victim today on the, on behalf of this bitch podcast and sound off in the comments that you left a donation you left some money as a honey <laughs> yeah <laughs> we love money as a honey shout out um, to the burn victims <laughs> okay we gotta stop yogurt saying. land <laughs> <laughs> yogurt land will you donate to the burn victims that's what we need to know you know what uh, pulls off a burn a little froyo <laughs> oh, full circle <laughs> full circle we start doing like <gasps> Really great PR things behind closed doors, <laughs> dude. We started paying off bur right. burn victims' colleges through fro yeah. through fro yogurt land. Xavier, write down on the list. We need to hit up yogurt land, yogurt land, and, and then and a burn victim. Next, cakes and cancer. <laughs> <laughs> we might. You think we're Wait. kidding? We might. That's uh, a good cake company. Sprinkles. What's the one in Cupcake. Burbank? Portos. 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 We need some, yeah. Portos and port kids. holes. <laughs> <laughs> we make we're it, fun. we make it funny. We lighten it we're, up. We're, do, we're keeping we, it alive. We're keeping it alive. We're taking de devastation. We're making it cool. Donate. Donate. We're great. We couldn't be better. <laughs> it feels wrong. Why? No, I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, I um the the, the I, I I the thing that's scary about it is I smelled it for weeks. Yeah, I wanted to add what was plugged in. You have a picture of this plug. It looks like it got all like it was like an out. extension, but not a very long one. And I only had uh two things plugged in, three things plugged into it. It was my this AC, was my computer, burn. my TV. Yeah. And I smelled it, but because it'd been colder the last few weeks, our heaters come on automatically. And I thought my heater was burning like dust because we're in LA, we never use heaters. And sometimes heaters like stink, you know? Yeah. Um, so I thought my heater was like slowly burning. I never smelled electrical burning before so i didn't recognize it i just thought it was like dust burning or something weird but then i left my apartment and i came back an hour later and when i came back the smell was so strong and it's good that it happened that day because the next day i was leaving town so if it happened one day later i wouldn't have anything like all the whole apartment might be burned down that's crazy i literally went and bought a fireproof thing for my documents after that and put all my documents in it because i was like oh my god like my birth certificate like i just started thinking about all the pictures and little things i have that i've had since i was a kid 
Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, it would be horrible. And then, um, and then, yeah, I came back and I smelled the heater. It wasn't coming from there. I pulled my bed out and my outlet was melted into the wall. That shit was so scary. Yeah. When you sent me that with all the firefighters in your apartment, I was like, oh, something's happened to mama. Yeah. Yeah. The outlet was melted into the wall and it was smoking out of the holes of the outlet. There was smoke coming out. Like it just started smoking and then the wall was turning like brown behind it. And then when I looked at my mat- mattress, it was turning yellow from the smoke. And there's probably chemicals in the mattress that can't catch on fire. Yeah. This is a whole fucking thing. Yeah. So then I started panicking. I don't know what to do. So I'm like, I need to turn off the electric. I don't know how to do that. So I call the people in charge of my building. They don't answer. And then the girl texts me back. She's like, I'm actually off the clock at five. I was like, the building's on fire. (laughs) And she wrote back, ma'am, if the building's on fire, call 911. She said, um, I don't care. I just clocked out. Yeah, she literally could give less of a shit. I was like, okay. So I called the fire department. They were there in like four minutes. And um, that's fast. And they came in and they were hot and cool. Really? I'll say something about firefighters. They exude sexual energy. They're men who really know that they're like on Useful. calendars and like, you know what I mean? Oh, like yeah, they know. The day. Yeah, they know. They know what women think about them and they really play the part. Really? Yeah. Were you flirting with the firefighter? No, I was really panicked. And I was a little bit stressed because like my place was clean, but not super clean. Right. It was clean enough that I felt fine, but then they start like looking and like pulling things out, and You're I'm like, like "They're coming a vibrator, <laughs> actually." Yeah, I'm like, "They're pulling my bed out." I'm like, "What if there's like a condom wrapper?" You know, yeah, you, you yeah. miss things. Yeah, they're not looking at that though. No, but there was a condom on my floor that I just took from where did we go? Where we got condoms? Oh, mic drop, yeah. and I was cleaning out my bag, so I just had three condoms on the floor randomly. Yeah, those and I'm condoms like, keep just popping out at the worst time. Dude, for me the condoms too. have been haunting they me from mic drop. They've been literally like flying out of my pocket. I'm like, should I? Yeah, find someone to fuck. <laughs> They're telling, and it's a sign. Um, but yeah, they came in and they were like, kind of cute, some of them, and I was like, oh, and they were like, if you need us, they're so masculine. Yeah. If you need to ever need us, don't hesitate to call. I was like, I'm gonna need all of you right now. <laughs> matter of a fact, <laughs> as a matter of a fact, as a matter of a fact, <laughs> as a matter of a fact, I might need all six of you right now to put out a certain fire in my pants. <gasps> Too much. Yeah, so they put out my fire. <laughs> we both winked. And Mom and uh, mommy are in in flow. We yeah. wink at the same time now. Yeah, even our wink is uh, our in sync is. <laughs> <laughs> even as wink is in sync is. Oh my God. When I was in Vegas, uh-huh. I did this thing. Uh-oh. Okay, I went to Area 15. Mm-hmm. It was really cool. I did Meow Wolf. Okay. We talked about Meow Wolf. Mm-hmm. Meow Wolf's the best. It was so awesome. But then I also did this thing called Wink World, mm-hmm. which is like from the creators of Blue Man Group. Okay. And. It was just after Meow Wolf, because Meow Wolf is so magical, and there's so much to see, and there's so many portals and stuff, and right. Wink World was, like, it's created by the same guy who created the Blue Man Group, and it's just, like, a bunch of, like, it's it was okay. But Meow Wolf, you should have done the, the other one first, I and Meow Wolf second. I should have done Wink World first, and I'm like, okay, I'm seeing slinkies that are glowing, and then you walk into another room, and then something else happens, and it's no. just, like... Meow Wolf in Vegas is, like, almost worth taking a specific trip to Vegas for. No, and also, okay, we need to talk because there's one in Denver. Okay. That's, like, four or five stories. Okay. We got to go. Okay. And there's also one in New Mexico. Okay. And, like, I am telling you, I had the best day of my life at Meow Wolf. Okay. By myself. Didn't you? Yeah. I was like, literally, I, I don't need anyone. I no. just live in Meow Wolf. I know. I was crawling on the floor through tents. Me too. I hit my head on the way up. Yeah. I was like, I'm still young. <laughs> now they make you feel young, like a little bop to the noggin. <laughs> yeah. Still got yeah. it. Still got it, baby. Up on my head. <laughs> a little bop on the head never made me dead. <laughs> Uh, I think that's our episode. Mm, that's our episode. Uh, Shanky, where can people find? When's this one coming out? Who knows? Uh, this one since it got moved up. This is the twenty fourth. Okay. Of what? April. April. 
We're going to well, be in Texas. We're going to be in, in motherfucking Texas in May. Look out for us at Princess Shank at Kim Congdon. If you're in the Texas area, that's where we're going to be. Mm-hmm. And then we're also coming to uh, Arizona in June. Mike Drop Comedy June 23rd and June 24th. Mm-hmm. And um, make sure to look out for this merge drop that's happening. There'll be a link somewhere. Um, and they're really comfy and follow me at princess shank for more show dates, subscribe to my podcast shank that comes out every Wednesday. And then I'm here every Monday with Kimmy cakes, patreon.com slash Sarah Weinching for bonus content. Thank you. Hell yeah. You guys can find me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Queen Kong one. I have my own Patreon, patreon.com slash Kim Congdon. Um, and April 30th, I'll be in Philadelphia. In, whoa, Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in Philly doing Helium Comedy Club. I'm really excited for that. So if you're Fun. in the Philly area, come out. Um, and I, I think we're going to have a special guest come through and it's going to be very, very fun. I'm really excited for that. And, um, come see us in Austin. We're going to be there the week of May 9th, doing a bunch of fun stuff. Very excited for that. Keep a lookout. We've got merch. We'll put the link up for that. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited for everything coming up. We really appreciate everyone supporting the pod. It's happening. Honey, as you guys are coming out to the show, you're buying tickets. tickets. We love it. We're selling out. It's happening. It's real. It's not, a, it's not a fairy tale anymore. You guys are the hive is alive, sweetie. Bzz, 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 bzz. Uh, thank you, Xavier. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Mm-hmm. That was so wacky.